We made it to Matt's. We got a trailer here, and uh, we're just gonna limp it off the trailer. The, this is gonna come in handy because we don't want to crush this trailer up. So that wheel's hanging over really good. What did you do? Well, I snapped the front axle. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, look at the and, and the two, shock three. just snapped off. Oh, oh, there. oh. Oof. Good to see you again for part two of our recovery. In part one, we explained how we broke the front axle on my Jeep Gladiator Rubicon and towed it out to a safe spot. This was a bad accident that we really made the best of. No more okay, no, that's that's it. It. Can you passenger a little bit more? Let go your brakes slowly. Roll back down by yourself. Dodge. Keep going, Dodge. Keep going, Dodge! You're good, you're good, you're good! You're good. You're good. When we got there, Matt goes, I got some pretty badass guys that can help with this. So uh, Jason came to lead the way of the recovery off of the trailer at the sandbox. And. Right? You in neutral? Yeah. A lot of people saying Sorry, there's Listen there's to this guy right here. They actually tethered the back of the gladiator to a scout. Super sick rig. Alright. So the only other problem is is that we don't have ramps. So yeah, we do, on, we do, we do. Do we want to use them? Yeah. Probably you're going to drag the ramps the whole time. Or, yeah, yeah, you're right. Maybe not. No. We'll just come out straight off it. Okay. It'll be easy enough. Yeah. When he comes off it and it's on that jack, That's it's, it's going to want to go. It's going to want to go. Plenty of wood. So it's tethered here. This is the scout. This is the gladiator. And then we're up here. Christian's in the ram. So the whole time Jason's going, and dodge, roll forward, Jeep, pull back, Jeep on the brakes, Jeep on the gas, like just killing it. So we're pulling the trailer out from under the Jeep, essentially. That's in a good spot right now. Yeah. If we can put all the weight up this, if yeah. we can hold it, then oh, this steers thing should it. go up high, dude. The thing is, is that we're, 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 with, Jeep we're within eight off. inches of the back dropping off. Once it wants to drop off, it's going to want to go. I got so you. So we have to quickly do that. I got you. I got you. Hold that, Dodge. Hold. All right, well, uh, slowly put your foot off the dodge, hold that. Jeep back, uh, let your foot off the brake slowly. This is all you now, right now. Okay, stop, hold that. Hey, how much have we got on the fender? It's going up the fender right now. Okay, the problem over here is we got the same problem. Can you straighten it? Can you jack it up a little bit more? Jeep, can you drive our passenger turn a little bit? There you go. Passenger yeah, more. Good. Hey, give me two more Hold inches. Hold that. There. Two there. more. Right there. Hey, give me two, like, two three more pumps. pumps. Nobody move Stop. Right. No more, no more pumps. No more pumps. Okay. Okay. That's Chief, that's can you right passenger there. a little bit more? Hold that. Push, push, push right. this way. Hold that. Dodge, slowly go forward. Jeep, hold brakes. Keep going forward, Dodge. No, Jeep, let go. No, no, no. Dodge, go forward a little bit more. Hold that. Dodge, stop. Jeep, uh, let go of your brakes slowly. Roll back down by yourself. Just a little bit. Dodge, move forward slowly. Keep going, Dodge. 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 You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going forward, Dodge. Put on the brakes. Hold the brakes the whole time right now. Dodge, keep going forward. Keep going forward. Slowly, stop, stop, right there. Dodge, stop. Holy cow. Hold. 
jack down a little bit. And jack Dude, I got a lot of good footage. Stop telling me to jack up. Dude, I got. Uh, hey! That was, that was, that was super I got a lot of good footage. Dude, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Everyone hold. Take your time, guys. Take your time. Good job, Coming guys. overhead, Good job. Matt. Coming yeah, overhead. Woo! Good job. Woo! Teamwork, boys. Wait, we're not done. Um, can he? Uh, Jeep. Uh, driver. Hold Jeep on. driver. Hold hang on, on, hang on. Hold, hold stop. On. Hold, everyone, hold. Hold. What? I don't want it to fall down onto the slight bar. Yeah, same here. That, that was my yeah. problem over here. Want to come yeah. on the light bar. Hey, just nice yeah. and easy, Dad. Right, just yeah. go. Stop, stop. Take them, Johnny. Hold, everyone, hold. Give me a ramp over there. Put a ramp on the tire. Bang. Dodge, hold. Put on the tire. There you go. All right, Dodge, slowly come forward. Jeep, hold brakes. Dodge slow. Uh, Jeep, let go of your brakes. Just let go of them all. Okay, you're gonna keep going, keep going, 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 going. Dodge. Keep going. Keep going. All right, we're clear. Hold there. Park, put in park, Dodge. Oh, oh. All right, hold on. We're not done. We're not done. Don't get out. This is where it lays. I'm gonna back up. I gotta. I gotta know. Get in there. We. You're not done. We gotta pull you off the boards now. I didn't even realize they were gonna back you up. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do not on that yet. Do not. Nobody get around it. Back up. Forward or back? I'm backing up. Hold on. Going back? Yeah. Turn this off. Thanks, bro. Dude, I got like 12 minutes. Yeah, thank you, dude. It worked so well. Um, thank you so much, Jason, for leading the way there and helping us get it off the trailer. Well, this is where she'll rest for at least a few days. Uh, I think it, the best plan right now will be to have someone try to help with a trailer and trailer it back to Arizona to Nichols Auto Fab. Um, yeah, just super, super grateful. These kids are mob in the Jeep. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> they took me on a ride earlier. And nice. <laughs> No way. Everyone I've met today in the past five hours and people I've known mobbing. There's Chocolate Thunder out in the distance. Matt's property is really cool. Anyways, I feel really bad for the Jeep. So thankful to have amazing people to help with all this. And I'm kind of just super grateful that I'm okay. So then, uh, you know, we head back. We had a super fun time at Chocolate Thunder again and back door watching everyone else beat up their rigs. That's actually when I met Rick. Um, and we watched him in the, what has he got? A Suzuki Samurai or no, he's got a sidekick, a Exo Cage sidekick. Just wabbity, bop, 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 bop. And Rick, that really helped me in the moment to chill out and just laugh at, at, you know, the whole thing and just pick up the pieces. And that was the coolest, um, thing about this whole messed up scenario is that the whole time, all I was doing was thinking, okay, how can we fix this how can we move forward uh, I wasn't living in the past going oh man I wish I didn't do this there's no time for that um, so that was really cool but then you know I wake up what is it Saturday morning and I'm just crushed honestly uh, I just I just couldn't believe what I had done and that I was you know sleeping in my a-liner in my trailer there, all cozy and the gladiator wasn't there it wasn't out front. It was a couple miles away, 
broken at Matt's property. And that sucked, man. Um, that morning sucked for sure. I didn't get out of the trailer for a couple hours. I just kind of, just kind of laid there. But after I got out of the trailer, um, so that was, that was, there was a couple hours of me feeling bad for myself. After that, I got out of the trailer. All my friends were there. Chris was there to make me, you know, one of Shauna's famous burritos and get me coffee. And everyone just was there to keep me at high spirits. And so we went into Hammertown as I called my insurance, figured out, you know, how could I get a tow or this or that. We figured out that U-Haul trailers were pretty much all, they were all packed up in Yucca Valley and all the you know, local spots that had these U-Haul trailers, well, the people had done the same thing. It, you know, they had broken their rigs and they needed the trailers. So all these trailers are taken up. So we couldn't get a trailer to tow it back with Fife's truck. Um, we couldn't get insurance to tow it back to where I wanted. It was, you know, only to the nearest shop. So I ended up making a post on Instagram and right away got so many responses. Um, I was just so, so... Uh, overwhelmed honestly with the support and um, one one of my virtual buddies who said he would drive out all the way from Colorado elevated underscore overland um, on Instagram he does really cool old Toyota conversions and stuff so go follow him if you want to see some really cool custom campers um, but thank you so much, man, for, for offering to come out. I mean, that, that was just huge. He's like, I'm in Durango. I can leave right now. I'm like, dude, that is so far away. Um, but thank you. Uh, my buddy, Andy, who I've known for six, seven years now, um, from RC rock crawling, he said, I talked to him. He said, yo, what do you need? I got you. You need, you need a trailer. I'll come out. I'll come get you tomorrow. I'll leave at four in the morning. And I was like, Andy, are you sure? Like, are you serious, man? Are you like, is, are you sure you can do this? Cause I'm not, you know, I'm not like, I'm safe. I'm not, uh, you know, I could, I could pay for a tow back. It would suck. It would cost a lot of money. But, and he said, Phil, have I ever said something and not done it? And I'm like, no. And he's like, I got you, man. I'll do it. It's cool. Like I'll be there. No worries. We can store the rig here for a few days and figure things out. So we're just going to enjoy the night go to Chocolate Thunder. Thanks for watching. Comment, let me know what you think of all this craziness. Uh, hit the like. <laughs> Join my Patreon. This is going to cost a lot of money, so I appreciate my patrons supporting me. Um, anyways, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for watching. I love this lifestyle and the people I meet that ultimately lead to crazy experiences like this. The only question is, are you down to mob? Thank you.